And guys, here one more scene I like to show you. I uh, is uh, distortion. I measured it before removing capacitors, and now you see it's a normal tape, and it's 0.75 percent on each channel, like 0.8%. It's perfect. Uh, and it was like 2.5% before I removed these capacitors. This means that its recordings were significantly under biased. And now we have a perfect recording and it's normal tape. And let me see, this means now metal tape XR. Let's make a braid for this tape. Yeah, calibrated using TDK MA. It's much brighter, like 3 decibel brighter than Sony Metal XR. So you see bias point left. Okay, recording. We have perfect level and distortion. 0.75, 1.35 on the left. Okay. It's still fine, like it's around 1%, but but it was like 2.5 before. And now let's try the TDK my tape. And let's see. You see this like when we reduce in bias, it significantly increases distortion level. And to decay my starting calibration. See, it's doing it well. Recording. Have perfect level. And now see distortion on this tape, 1.1%, 1.8%, wow. Interesting results, really. Usually metal tape <laughs> gives a, a lower distortion level. Let's check this, SA tape. What we will get here? Recording. Oops, did not press recording. Okay, levels fine. Right channel 1.15 and left 1.8. That's the best I can do with this deck. I found a root cause for the left, uh, for the 2 decibel uh, issue. So it appears that this my tape uh, D90 has like a difference recording between left and right channel. All other tapes <laughs> do the same, and this one like shows left channel a lower, like 1.5 decibel, about 2 decibel. That's where like record level here fixes the issue and disparity. And now like when I adjusted using like metal tape, everything works on all tapes. Perfectly with the levels. Uh, okay, that would be it for this part. Interesting observation on the Kamichi. <laughs> Usually, metal tape produces the lowest uh, distortion. So, let me know what else you like to see about this deck. Thank you, and see you in the next parts.